Leon Edwards should fight Bilal Mohammed instead of Shafkat. It would be better for him, better for the UFC, better for everyone. And I will tell you why that is. Hello and welcome to Blood Sport MMA. Salam alaikum to everyone. I know most of us, we are not fans of Belal. We do not like the way he fights. His fights are, even though I met him personally, he's a very cool guy, very nice guy, I respect him a lot, but his fights are not the most entertaining. So most fighters and most fans don't want to see him fight Edwards for the title. Edwards himself does not want to fight him. That is something I don't understand. Edwards not trying to fight him. That's something I don't understand. Because I have to tell you, look, as a fan, I would rather see Shafkat fight Leon. Honestly, that would be a much more fun matchup, in my opinion. Definitely. But as Leon Edwards, I do believe that Bilal is the best fight you can have right now. Let's look at the division. Who else could he fight instead of Bilal? You could fight Shafkat. Mm, okay. They talked about Burns, which makes no sense for me because like we still we have to be a little bit fair at least. And Burns just lost to Bilal. Yes, I do believe Burns wins against Bilal if he's not injured. Call me a hater. But still, he lost against Bilal. So you can't give the guy who just... It's like if you give Benil LaRouche a title shot after losing to Charles Oliveira. And not Charles Oliveira. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? It just honestly doesn't make any sense. So, otherwise Colby already lost. Usman already lost. There's no one else. There's no one else other than Shafkat and Pelal that you can argue for a title shot. I would have no problem if they would book Shafkat against Everts at all. As, as I said, from a fan's perspective, matchup-wise, much more fun fight. But, but, if you're Leon Everts and you can choose between Shafkat and Pelal, let's be honest here. Pelal, with all due respect, is an easier matchup. If you don't know, now you know. We saw the first fight, of course it was only one round, but Leon won that round. Leon got five times better since then. Bilal also got better, but Leon got so much better. Leon showed that he probably has the best anti-wrestling in the whole UFC right now from all the strikers. Bilal, if he wins with his grappling, it's normally against guys who do not have the very best defensive grappling, like Thompson, those guys. Striking-wise, yeah, he beat Burns in the striking. First of all, Burns is a grappler. Second of all, Burns fought with one arm. So, I honestly believe if Belal and Leon fight 10 times, Leon wins 9.8 times. They can only count the five. <laughs> I honestly do believe that. I believe Belal is way better than people giving credit for. He has a weird style that works. But for Leon, that's a 10 times easier matchup than Shafkat, bro. Shafkat can strike, he can stand with you. He can stand with Leon. Shafkat is much more of a finisher than Leon's not a finisher at all. People still think about that headshot. Yeah, that was a once in a lifetime headshot. Pound for pound. Headshot. Damn it. That's it. Leon is not a finisher. Leon wins mostly by decisions. Leon is, a, is, is like Izzy, even though Izzy is probably more of a finisher than Leon. You know what I mean? Shafkat is a pure finisher. Shafkat can take, okay, yeah. If I say Shafkat can take Leon down, then also Bilal can take Leon down. Let's take that away. But Shafkat can finish you in all positions. Bilal will not finish you. And I'm coming all night long. The only guy Bilal will finish was Sean Brady, and that was weird as hell. Bilal will not submit you, but Shafkat will. Shafkat can submit you while, while you're standing, look at the Chaf Neal fight. Like, Shafkat is a nightmare matchup, in my opinion, for, for Everts. Shafkat is one of the worst matchups he can wish for right now. He can knock him out. He will put so much pressure on him. He can submit him in the clinch, standing. I think Shafkat has even a better chance of taking him down because of his pressure, because of how, how dangerous he is in the striking as well. Because with Bilal, you are not as worried about the striking as with Shafkat. He's much more dangerous. Plus, plus a big thing as well. I do believe if you fight Bilal, you submit more pay-per-views. As weird as this sounds, I do believe a fight against Bilal sells more pay-per-views than a fight against Shafkat. I do believe that. I tell you why. First of all, Bilal is a guy that most people hate. Yes, he got, he, got, he got booed like crazy in Vegas when I was there in the arena. Yes, but guess what? Those guys that get booed, they have haters. 
haters will still tune in. It doesn't matter if you liked or hated, as long as you bring out an emotion of, out of people, you are winning. People will tune in to see you lose. Who cares? They will tune in. Who cares? Who cares, brother? Who cares, brother? Who cares? So for Leon, that's a lot of people that will tune in to see him beat Bilal. There's a lot of people that will buy the paper you just to see Bilal get shut up once and for all. Of course, there's a lot of uh, Kazakhstan guys who will tune in to watch uh, Shevkat. Great success. But I think most of them will probably just get the streams illegally somehow. And Bilal and you have a history. Bilal and you can talk with each other. In the press conference, you can roast each other. Bilal will come after you. Bilal posts seven memes a day about you. Shafka will not say a word. Shafka will just sit there and say three words in, in Kazakh language or Russian or whatever. He'll say like three words and say nothing disrespectful and like Liam will not say anything disrespectful. It will just be the most boring press conference ever. The UFC will probably cancel a press conference and you will not sell any more pay per use. Trust me, Bilal sells more pay per use than Shafka for you in this particular situation. So do that fight. It's, it's a better matchup for you. It sells more pay-per-use. There's a personal beef history. You don't like this guy. You can shut him up once and for all. And you, Leon Edwards, were the guy before you got the title shot against Usman. That was always denied. You were the Bilal of the division that no one liked, that everyone was canceling. Everyone said, no, don't let him fight for the title. It's boring. He doesn't finish fights. You were that guy, Leon. So now you're canceling the guy that you once were. That's not smart. That's not not, 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 not not smart, but not cool. So it's not smart to not fight him because he's the easier fight that's also pay per use, but it's also not cool by you. And I'm not a Bilal fan, but you have to be honest, like Bilal freaking deserves it. So if I'm Leon Edwards, I'm fighting Bilal all day long, shutting him up once and for all, and then you can still continue to have your super fights with Islam. You can go up and fight Strickland, whatever you want, but let's fight Bilal for now. What is your opinion on that? Write it in the comments, guys. Are you a Bilal hater, Bilal fan? Write it in the comments. Who do you think should Leon fight next? All in the comments. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, guys. I would appreciate that. I would also appreciate if you check out bloodshop.net, my official merch store. In my opinion, the best merch store in the whole MMA world. Trust me, I have all the products you could wish for. Check it out. Best quality and free shipping. So check it out, I would appreciate that, and that you can have your title fight against Ian Everts. Make sure to get your sleep in. Until the next one, bye-bye. Plus, -bye. we're out.